We're doing a demo and review of Brainwork. It's one of the latest SEO AI content writers, copywriters in the market right now. This tool has some very unique features that make it stand out from the rest. Feel free to jump chapters if you wish, but watch until the end for a special bonus I created just for you guys. So let's get started. So according to Brainwork's homepage, they have some pretty enticing uh, comments here. So Brainwork is an AI powered writing assistant for bloggers, entrepreneurs, marketers. Most likely if you are watching this video, you do fall under any of these three categories. And according to them, they will end your writer's block. Uh, they will do keyword research for you and the tool will increase your brand awareness. So I'm guessing they will increase your brand awareness because the tool will give you some SEO suggestions, optimizations that you could use to increase your rankings in Google. And, but how much of this is true and how much of this is BS? Uh, I will um, show you the tool in a bit. Before we dive in, I do want to share with you a special freebie. Um, I created a free 127 plus point SEO audit checklist uh, that you could use hand in hand with Brainwork. So when you do write your blog articles, you could use this SEO audit checklist to um, audit your affiliate sites, your client sites, or your own websites to make sure that your sites are ranking as high as they can be, ranking number one in Google. So if you want this completely free checklist, uh, click the link in the description and I will email you this um, Google Doc, Google Spreadsheet to your email. Now let's dive right in. So I'm gonna click on Login, click on Sign In, and when I sign in, I'm greeted with this dashboard, very, very minimal, very simple, and it shows me the most recent activity, so all of my most recent um, projects, my most recent articles. Now I wanna first touch on this button right here. So if you click on this project button, you can toggle through all of the different projects that you have. Now if you click on manage projects, you can see a list of all of your projects, how many items, how many members are in your project, and when you created it. If you click on this purple new project button, you can add your project name, URL, and description. And I would create a new project for each one of my clients, each one of my brands to keep things organized. And I'm gonna click on dashboard. So we are going back to the main dashboard. So I first want to touch on um, AI blog titles. So if you click on this, uh, you can create uh, titles for your articles. So I'm going to click on new titles and you are supposed to enter your keyword and they will take care of the rest. So I'm going to just say affiliate marketing tips is my keyword and I'm going to click on generate and it will list me six blog titles that the AI generated. And this is this list of blog titles are actually pretty good. You can click on show more and the AI will generate even more. And if you click on that button again, it'll show you even more titles. So look at the one you like. And if you find one that you like, just click on the right post button. And it says, there is a high probability that the content generated will be good quality. So I'm gonna click on continue and it will suggest some keywords that I can target. So I'm gonna click on affiliate marketing. Um, what is affiliate marketing? And you can also add additional keywords if you wish. Then you just click on create. Now this will go into the long form editor. So I love the flow of this. So you start with the headline and then you go into the long form editor. So this is how it looks like. And you can start writing and, and you know, marketing uh, tips, so on and so forth. And let me move myself here. And you can edit the copy however you want to by changing things, the headers, you can add images, make things into bullets, uh, so on and so forth, okay? And the power of this long form editor 
is with these uh, five buttons. So if I highlight this, I can turn this into a paragraph. So if I click on paragraph, it'll start writing a paragraph from that bit of copy that I highlighted. All right, if I click undo, I can also create a listicle and this is a listicle, all right? So find a niche, create valuable content, use effective marketing techniques, monetize, track, and these are actually pretty good, right? You could even do steps, so kind of like a step-by-step. -step. Choose a niche, find a good program, create useful content, promote, analyze. It's pretty good, right? And then you can also rephrase and summarize. So let's just say I want to uh, turn this into an H2 and I can, let's just say, analyze your results in Google Analytics to see which pages are getting the most traffic. All right, let's just see what the AI can do for us. All right, so I'm gonna correct that spelling. So we can rephrase it. Look at your Google Analytics to see which pages are getting the most traffic. That's pretty good. You can also summarize this. The most popular pages on your website are the ones that are getting the most traffic from people who are visiting your website. Really good, right? Uh, so you can even turn this into a paragraph. Actually, no, it's not gonna work. Yeah, sometimes depending on uh, what you highlight, it will either work or not. See how it turns purple and it turns off? So, yeah, so be aware of that, okay? Let me highlight part of it and I'm gonna click on paragraph. Okay, and it's pretty good. So really, really cool. And if you click on assistant, this is where the SEO part comes in. So you can go through all of the titles that the AI generated for you and switch them if you want to. You can look at outlines. So this is another way you can um, generate outlines for, for your blog. All right, and you can even generate more if you wish. And say for example, I like this, I can just add the plus button and then it'll automatically paste that outline right here. And then for SEO, it'll um, analyze your copy in real time and it'll suggest certain things that you can um, add. You can even add a featured image and then also the keywords. So it'll show you some related keywords you should be adding onto your page as well. So very, very similar to Surfer, I would say. And uh, let me, let's see what else I can show you. All right, so let's go and click on preview. So this is just kind of like a preview of how your blog will look like. You can edit it, delete it, exit, or you could download it. I'm gonna go back to edit and it'll kind of pull up everything again. And then you could save it. You can do a plagiarism check. You can publish it, share it, download it and tutorials and so on and so forth. And I'm gonna click on exit. All right, so it'll be saved right here. And the next thing I wanna show you are the AI blog outlines. So this is another way you can start your blog page. So if you click on AI blog outlines, uh, you can click on new outlines. Now I'm just gonna do um, affiliate marketing tips, click on generate. All right, so two outlines for, for us. And the outlines are pretty good. You can click on show more and it will show you a couple more. And I'm gonna click on write post, click continue, and you can select certain keywords that they suggest and then click on create. And very, very good, very, very good. So if you click on assistant, click on, so now we don't have titles, right? So you can click on generate and it'll create titles for you. So if I like this one, if I add it, click on the plus, it'll automatically add it to the title section. Really, really cool. And you can even see additional outlines you can um, select. 
You could look at the SEO score and then the keywords as well. All right, so really cool. I'm gonna click on ex I'm gonna click on save just to save it and then click on exit. And we can go click on AI writing assistant. So these are all of the posts that I started. All right, so I'm gonna click on one that I created earlier today. And just to show you um, what else it can do. And actually it did not save the copy um, that I had here. Uh, let's see if I can. Okay, so this is the copy that I um, added. And again, I just wanna show you how you can format things. You can change the color, uh, unordered lists, add links you know, change the font size, so on and so forth. So really clear, easy to, to use um, UI UX, all right? So I'm gonna click on exit. Next thing I wanna show you is keyword research. So click on new search and affiliate marketing tips, click on search. So the keyword research tool is actually very, very fast. Um, I do like how everything is laid out. You see the volume, the competition, difficulty. So this really shows you whether or not you should be writing an article about this or not, right? So according to this report, I think I should be writing an article about affiliate marketing tips because the competition is pretty low. And then you could see trends over time. So you can decide whether or not um, certain months are a good time to publish. In this case, I should be publishing on February, August, or October. And then you also see keyword ideas and um, you can click on show more and it'll give you other keyword ideas. And then top questions people ask. Unfortunately, there is only one in this list. It could be because of the keyword that I added, but I do wish they do offer more key, uh, questions people ask. And then the top 10 ranking posts. So this is okay. I wish it did show me the title, the meta description. I wish it showed me the full URL, um, but I think this is just okay. And um, if you click on a keyword idea, it'll do another research for you. And then you could kind of continue to dive in, right? So affiliate marketing email tips, if you click that, then it'll analyze that. And then you could look at the competition and see, you know, what, what um whether or not you want to go for that so i am noticing that sometimes it does it does not show you the data for the keyword so that's something that, something to keep in mind and the next one is performance so um earlier i added my url and it's really quick so when you add your url it'll show you a list of keywords that your page your site is ranking for the url the position difference, volume, the results. So really, really good, really, really good. I do love how simple this is. I know there are a lot of uh, keyword rank trackers out there. This could kind of compete with those, right? Unfortunately, you cannot add your own keywords at this point. It'll just pull up the keywords that that your, your site is ranking for, which I think is good. But sometimes if you want more control, you do not have that control. You can't decide what keywords you want to track. But um, but for the most part, this is really helpful information. And that's basically it, all right? So um, again, um, not sure if I mentioned this, but they if you are interested in Brainwork, uh, they are running a lifetime deal on AppSumo. Um, starting at $79, you can get a lifetime subscription of this. And at for $79, uh, you get all features for the starter plan, all right? And you can do up to 40,000 AI-generated words per month and two users. And then if you go to up to tier two, then the words per month increase and the users increase with tier three. Same thing, if you do tier four, four, which is their highest, then that's where you get the most usage. So I do like how it is mapped to a plan. So this is the starter plan. So let's see where the starter plan falls in their, in their list. So if I go on pricing, their starter plan starts at 29 per month. So really, if you are within less than three months, you will get your money's worth um, with this deal, right? So 
I wish it was mapped to maybe the professional plan, but honestly, everything is the same. The only thing that changes are the number of generated words and the user seats at this point, right? So it's actually not too bad. I, I think this is a really, really good deal. Um, depending on you know how much content you create and whether or not you have other tools similar to this, um, that will make or break what decision you you decide on, right? So if you don't have any other tools yet, maybe do a higher tier. But if you have other tools that are similar to this, maybe just do tier one or tier two, um, but the choice is yours, all right? So again, I do wanna remind you, um, since this is an SEO tool, um, you can use my free SEO audit checklist with this tool, right? Because it tells you, um, I listed everything out, every single thing you need to do on your website to rank number one. Um, it's a free checklist. Click the link in the description. This is a freebie for, from me to you guys as a thank you. Get the checklist right now if you can. And uh, with that said, I will speak to you in the next video. All right, feel free to leave any of your comments or questions down below. I'll be reading them and answering them. And feel free to watch any of these two videos. All right, I will see you in the next one.